to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. Today for you, I do have a Dollar Tree haul. I hope you are all doing amazing today and ready to sit down with me. I got a late start today, so this might be posted a little late, but um, sit down with me and look at all the Dollar Tree goodies that I picked up. This is a very, very full bag today. Um, we'll see if we get through all of it or some of it gets put off to my next haul. Just a little disclaimer, I am getting ready for vacation. We leave, today is Tuesday, so we leave a week from tomorrow. So I'm gonna be doing some batch recording so that I make sure that I have content um, all the way through this week where I'm being busy, getting ready for vacation, and then while we're gone for vacation. So um, I'll be doing some batch recording, but it'll still be amazing content. I went shopping, oh my goodness, did I go shopping um, yesterday, and I have all kinds of fun stuff to share with you. So let's get started. As you know, my family and I are getting ready to go on a road trip, and so you're gonna see a lot of stuff that's kind of geared towards that, but it's also just the amazing finds at Dollar Tree. So I picked up a batch of these. I picked up the orange ones because I think that they are um, just good for anybody. So these are like the car hooks. So they go over the headrest, and then you have a little hook. I have a set in my car that I put my purse on, but what I got these for is because during the road trip, that way the kids, when they're, you know, getting themselves all comfortable, they can hang their little bags up off of these and give themselves some more feet room, and not everything is sitting by their feet. So I got these for the kiddos. They'll each get one and to be able to put, you know, one of their bags on during the road trip. So I just thought that those would be a good way to disperse some of their items and give them some space during the long drive because we're driving to vegas straight shot from denver to vegas it's about 12 ish hours but i pee a lot so um we have to add in you know stopping times um also for the car we picked up a box of tissues there's gertrude gertie there's gertie saying hi um, a box of tissues just to have in the car because, you know, you just need tissues. We picked up the beach ones because we are going to California. Um, we're going to Vegas and then California. So if you're new here, that's why I said Vegas. So we're doing a straight drive to Vegas. Then from Vegas, we're heading to like Joshua Tree area, California, Santa Monica, Hollywood, and our ultimate stop is Legoland. So um, got a box of tissues for in the car. My nose has a tickle. I need one of those now. Um, and then also for the car ride, I picked up some more of these. I had picked some up already for the little little road trip that I took with my girls group, but they ended up getting donated to a different cause. We were um, we volunteered. It was it's something called the Fire Muster that we go to almost every year, and we put on fake tattoos. That's my job. Lorelai helped. My niece Reese helped. Um, I have stuff falling in the front room. I was sorting through stuff to do my haul and stuff's falling over. Um, and so we were putting on fake tattoos, but we didn't have anywhere to put the trash because as you know, fake tattoos has a paper backing and the clear like fronting of it. And so we took out our little trash cans that we had for the road trip. I donated it there. They went in the box with the fake tattoos for next year. So I had to pick up more for the car. So um, here's two of them. I have one more in there somewhere. Um, that way it's thir three row seating. So the third row will have one. The middle row can have a trash can. And then up in front will have a little one. I mean, they don't hold a ton. But if you are blowing your nose and you or you're opening a straw or, you know, just like little trash goes well in there. Opening like a small package or a piece of candy or something, um, they fit in there. And the other one is it's in here somewhere, but um, we'll get there because I have other stuff on top of it. I picked one of these up because um, it's the summer. I'm wearing a lot of flip flops and I feel like I love the brush to scrub my feet. I don't use anything else on this, to be honest. So this is by Sassy and Chic. It is a pedicure four way brush. So it has a pum pumice, pumice stone, the brush, like a little... Um, like nail file, like a little file, and then another style of kind of file on this side. I pick these up, they get gross, you throw them away pretty regularly, but I really only use it for the brush because I feel like like, you know, when I'm walking around in flip flops, the bottom of my feet get gross and I feel like this just does a really good job of scrubbing them clean and I needed a new one. And these ones are a little bit new, they're more of an opaque kind of pink as opposed to like the see-through pink that I usually find there, so I picked that up. The quality doesn't feel much better. They're not super high quality or anything, but they're just kind of what you need, you know, when you want to scrub your feet real good. So that's why I picked those up. Um, also, I did grab some triple antibiotic 
Um, I was needing some the other day. I couldn't find any, so I think we're out. And this does expire at some point. I don't know like how bad it goes, but I just couldn't find any, so I assumed we were out. This doesn't expire until um, 2026. And then I'm also gonna put the, throw this in my little first aid kit for the car for the road trip. So then that way, if you know we're gonna go to Joshua Tree National Park, if someone gets a cut or something, um, really just throughout the whole time, we'll have some antibiotic stuff and um, band-aids and stuff. So I'm gonna do a little first aid kit. So I needed to pick some more of that up for that. <sighs> what next? Um, toothbrushes. These are new to me. I hadn't seen this particular brand. So these are by Brush Buddies. I guess I've seen the brand, just not these particular toothbrushes. And this is what I grab for the kids to take with us because uh, they're travel ones. And I mean, I don't typically try to use a travel toothbrush much longer after we travel because it goes from like to the hotel, either one or two hotels. And we're going from hotel to hotel to hotel during this road trip. And so they just have that chance to get gross. But I liked it that they were at the two pack so Laura can get the pink and then the boys can get the blue and green or orange. However, they distribute between them those colors. They fold over like this one. It's a two pack. They're the soft bristled and I just thought these would be great for them to take as their little toothbrushes. So it says travel toothbrush ergo, ergomatic, ergomic, I don't know, nice grip. Great for travel, tongue cleaner. Must be on the back. Oh yeah, so it's a little, you know, grooved on the back and folds neatly. Because it shows right there, it just folds into itself. So grab those so the kids can use those as their toothbrushes. For Cameron and I, my husband and I, I grabbed these ones. The, I love these toothbrushes. These are I like even for my regular toothbrush. But since it includes the brush caps, I grabbed us a set of these. His favorite color is purple, so I'll probably give him the purple one and keep the peach one because um, it's close enough to kind of a pink rose goldy color and then we have some toothbrushes as well for the trip then I grabbed another toothbrush because it looked interesting I'm going to try it here at home it's extra soft I don't know how I feel about extra soft I don't know how clean it'll get your teeth but look at the neat head on that toothbrush so this one is by Guru Guru Nanda Nanda I just know Guru. It has the charcoal bristles, 8,000 of them, it says. And it just looked really interesting to me because it's different than any of the other toothbrushes I've ever used. So I grabbed this one to use at home. Right now I'm actually using my travel toothbrush from when I went out on my girl's trip because we still haven't finished the bathroom. Life has been too busy. So I'm kind of working out of my like bathroom stuff. I know where my other toothbrush is. It was time for a change anyway. So once we get everything put back in, I can open up this one. And then one more toothbrush that was just kind of in the toothbrush section, I guess two more, are these little Fisher Price ones. It also is by Brush Buddies, but also Fisher Price. That is interesting, isn't it? Um, so I grabbed these because I thought they were really cute and I wanted to share them with you guys. I'm gonna give them to my baby nieces, um, either Maxine or Daisy, I don't know which one, but I figured I'd share with one of the babies because they will be getting to that point of brushing their teeth. It says zero month plus, and so just really whenever you're ready to start brushing their teethers or their gums, they have these cute little toothbrushes. This one looks great because the baby can hold it and like just chew on it and start kind of that teething process with a toothbrush. So it's a toddler dental kit, it says. Perfect for teething toddlers. And that's both of my nieces right now. So I thought that was really neat. So I picked it up to share it with you guys and then I'll give it away. Um, for travel, lastly, I did pick up some toothpaste because we need toothpaste. So at first I was just gonna get one of these because um, Eric and Lorelai don't like minty toothpaste. So I still get them like the kids toothpaste that have different flavors. This one is Fun Bubble Gum. Oh, I have two different ones. We have Fun Bubble Gum and Sparkle Fun. I don't know the difference between those. I was gonna get them just one, but then I, you know, sometimes they just fight and argue over things and then they each have their own little toiletry bags. And then this way they can just toss their own in their toiletry bag and be responsible for it. And now I, they have two different names, so it'd be easier to tell. And then this one is the kind Braxton always uses. So I got him just a smaller tube. I actually usually look for the one that says like 30% more free. But this particular time I actually bought the smaller one because that way it'll fit nicer in his toiletry bag. So I grabbed that. And then I didn't grab one for my husband and I because we already 
have some toothbrushes. Um, we are going to be in the car for, you know, a long time. And so I've been working on things for the kids to play with. There was three of these, but I only see two, so I don't know. Um, these are the two different ones. There's one more that's the same, but I don't know where it ended up. So um, I picked these up. It is Travel Bingo, Wipe Off Travel Bingo. And I have some other ones that I've already bought before that are just like the square ones. But then this one also has Roadside Bingo and all kinds of different ones. That's what I like about this. So it's like the same game, but several different boards. So then that way they can all play together. And then, um, but not have the exact same board and like win at the same time. So like, as you can see there, that's like a railroad sign, a hospital sign, airport sign, one way, detour, speed limit. So all kinds of different road signs so they can play bingo. And then we have roadside bingo with this style. So there's like a horse, a cone, a barn, skyscraper mountains. So different things that way. And there's several different boards of that. And then we have vehicle bingo. And so they have different vehicles to look for. There's a lot of stuff in here. Then we have license plate bingo with different state license plates. And there's three different, four different boards of that. Then we have farm bingo. I don't know if we'll be seeing a lot of farms on our particular drive, but that's another fun one. So all those inside of here, and I think this one is the same, but it's in a different order, but it's like the same bingo. So I got that for the kids for something to do. They all have cell phones, I know, but sometimes the cell phones don't have service or, um, we don't want them to be 12 hours straight, like watching YouTube and turning their brain to mush. They can do something else and look out the window. And then along those same lines are these cute little magnet games that they have. And so I have one of each that they can play with one another. So we have four in a row. So this one you play basically like you play connect four. So you start down at the bottom and like you're dropping them in and you have to get four in a row so just like connect four but with magnets um, we have checkers we have tic-tac-toe which they all always want to play with us parents and then i don't i don't know if i'll take chess i don't know if anyone really knows how to play chess eric the other day was like we should get a chess board so i mean if they want to work on learning it they can play it magnetically on our way and these all say that it's for ages six and up but that'll be one of the things we put in the car for them to play during those times that were like, get off your phones. Now, speaking of my car bags, if you've been watching my whole process, I'm putting together like a little Lego bag thing for them since we're going to Legoland. Um, my last Timu haul was full of little Lego figures. And so what my plan is, is to put them in these boxes. And so they look like this, um, where they have like the lid, but then they have like the lego kind of flat surface that they could play and build on and so they're each going to get one of these and then here's one because i was looking in it um and they open up and they have four quadrants in there and so i'm going to load these up with little things for them with like the lego figures and stuff that i got for each of them and um put that in their little bags stick around for some of my upcoming collective hauls because I have some from e uh, eBay and I got them cute little Lego backpacks from eBay. Um, back to the travel size stuff. I picked these up for my husband. He uses head and shoulders here at home and so I thought why not just grab a couple of these and these can be his soap for the trip. They just seemed real small. They're 1.7 ounces. I feel like we're going to be gone for a whole week. It's like a week and a day total that we're going to be gone. And we're going to get, you know, swimming and in the ocean and so showers and stuff. I'm really struggling with my packing list on this one because we're going to be gone so long and it's all road trips. So, but we're also getting in and out of the hotels. So I'm really struggling. Like how many outfits do I tell them to bring? I, I'm an overpacker by nature. That's what I do. But like we need to fit it all in the back of the car for like the whole time. So anyway, I grabbed him too. I don't know if he needs two, but I'd rather have more than not enough. But then we can also stop at Dollar Tree like on our trip. I do. I plan on stopping at the 99 cent only store in either Vegas or California. But um, I mean, I can buy more stuff. We'll be we're not going to be like out in the middle of nowhere. But 
Anywho, I grabbed myself this lotion. It's the Dove Body Love Beauty Cream for face and body. I grabbed it because it's just like such a good size for packing. And I feel like this will be like just the right amount. I've never tried this one though. I mean, it's a small amount of lotion, but for travel, I think it'll be great. So it comes with a thing, which is sealed, but now I'll open it. Oh yeah, it smells really good. So if that's gonna be the lotion I'm gonna pack. Oh yeah, I like that, it's nice. Um, it's not my favorite lotion because my favorite one right now is my Pina Colada or it's, it smells like coconut. It smells like pina colada, I think, and it's from Victoria's Secret. But, um, you know, for a week on vacation, I could just use regular, regular lotion and be just fine. I got some name brand sunscreen. It'll be up on an upcoming um, collective haul, but I grabbed this just to have um, with us. It is the 50 sunscreen lotion. Um, Braxton likes the cream lotions. The other two like the spray, but I like these for like faces and stuff because that's where the sun hits so much and it doesn't hurt to have an extra. We need them anyway because our community pool finally opened. It opened late this year and we um, couldn't find like sunscreen and stuff to be able to sunscreen. Like we had some, but not enough. We all got burns. I got my burn right here still. I'm starting to peel, it's gross. But um, yeah, so. Here's the other trash can. I picked yellow and green for no reason whatsoever, but those are the two colors that I picked. Um, and then black for the front, so. Uh, also another one for the kids are these Seekin or Spot the Difference books. I thought these looked like so much fun and I had to grab them. So I got Eric the Hot Wheels one. I got Lorelai the Barbie one. And then I got Braxton, just this kind of, I like the cover, it had like magic on it, but just generalized items of one. So like we have, I don't know why you have four. One of these is not like the others, aha. Uh -huh. So you just have to find like one small difference apparently. So I don't know, just a little puzzle book to keep them entertained during the ride. Um, and then if they finish them all up, we can toss them in the trash along the way type of deal. And then I had already picked up one sketchbook for the kids. I have these. I don't know what I'm going to give them. It really depends on kind of how full their little bags are getting. And I might give them some options too on what they want to take. But I really like these sketchbooks. So if we don't take them with us, they're still good just to have on hand. So you get 30 sheets. They're 10 by 8 inches with a customizable cover. So you could draw a picture and toss it in there. Um, they're by Greenbrier or iScholar New York is what it says. So these are a maybe for the trip, but they're a just because to have on hand anyway, because all three of the kids do like to draw. And so they're just good to have. So we'll see. I got one for each of them just in case. We'll see. We'll see where they get given to them. All right. Um, we were talking about my little Lego things that I'm putting together for them. Here is some cars. So I went to two different stores. I couldn't remember if I had picked this one up, so I picked it up twice. Um, but each of the kids, I'm gonna give them at least one of these cute little brick cars. Um, they kind of come apart and they're like, like Lego. So they show you on the back here. So that one, like you can see where the two top pieces pop off on this car. And I know I picked up, so I have, I know I have doubles or like multiples of some of these and that's totally fine because I mean, they can each get two that are like the same cause they're just their own cars. So they don't all have to be different, but they pop off kind of like that. And then, so these two are the same. And then I have a chicken food truck one too is one of the other ones that I know I have. There's five of them out there though. And I don't know if I've found all five or not because this is two of five and this is four of five. And I know I have the chicken truck one, but I don't know what else I've managed to pick up because I need to go through all my bags of stuff and, you know, disperse it. All right, all right, all right. Um, one more game for the car. They've had this before. I think I had them take it when we got on the plane last year when we went to Costa Rica, but um, they could play it again in the car. It is Surf's Up and it's summer trivia. And so their little example back here is beach life. Where was the world's tallest sandcastle made? Connecticut, Florida, Brazil, or Australia? 
Connecticut, which I would have never guessed. So they can play some trivia in the car if they get bored. So grabbed that for them. And then my hauls are going to be a little shorter over the course of like this time because I am trying to bulk record and have a lot just so that that's your forewarning. Um, so the last thing I have for this particular haul is going to be my new sunglasses that I picked up for myself. Um, these I thought were super cute. I saw them in the store and I had to have them. They are pink and I just thought they were really cute. You can see my big square light because that's the type of light. I don't have ring light. I have a big square one. Um, but I just liked these and so I figured I would take them and have them for a pair of my sunglasses for the trip. And I always buy my sunglasses from Dollar Tree. I have a couple good pair, but I always buy them from Dollar Tree. So I got myself these. All right, guys, that is, oh, no, I have one more thing in front of me that I was holding and I sat down when I was talking about something else. For um, my toiletry stuff, I don't you often use makeup removing wipes. I usually use the little circle towels that you buy at Dollar Tree, the pink ones. They're like the magic, magic eraser, no. I don't use that on my face like the makeup eraser i love them the little round ones that you get at dollar tree that's usually what i use but and i don't plan on necessarily wearing makeup every day on vacation because we're driving around and stuff but the days that i do i just thought that this might be an easier thing to pack and they um there's 10 of them in here you use it you toss it and it's just you know out of ease really is why i picked it up so it's perfect on the go home travel or gym and non-flushable do not flush discard properly in trash and store at room temperature and i think these are the ones that i've been hearing good things about um, in other people's hauls for the people who use makeup removing wipes but i liked the small little container that it was so i grabbed that all right now i'm going to be done with you guys um coming up i'm going to be having another well i'm gonna have two collective hauls I'm recording one today. I'm waiting for one because I have more stuff coming. I summer shopped for like kids clothes and all kinds of stuff online and I'm waiting for it all to get here. But I did go shopping so I have stuff to share with you with a collective haul. I have multiple Dollar Tree hauls. Like my whole front room right now is just like spread across with like Dollar Tree haul stuff. So um, I'm trying to like put everything for the road trip all together plus like you know all the other life stuff. So that's what I have coming. My videos are just going to be a touch shorter than usual because um, I just want to make sure that I have content the whole time I'm gone. So if it's a little bit less of a video so that I can spread them out, that's what's going to happen. Um, there are a few more things I'm looking for. So hopefully by the time I'm finished recording, I find all the things. But thank you so much for being here with me. I did a little something to my tree just for the backgrounds because my friend Olivia said that it was feeling a little sad with nothing on it which I agree with. So I just did a little something until 4th of July. I didn't decorate everything. I never got to it. Life got too busy, but you know, we can have a little bit of 4th of July fun on the tree. Um, I can't wait until I see you guys next time. Thank you all for being here with me. I appreciate you all so much. I, I get this like wave of gratefulness every so often and I don't know how to express it to you guys. And usually it's not like when I'm in front of the camera, it's like when I'm writing comments and it's like when I'm just thinking about my life and like where I'm at and I just get this really strong wave of how grateful I am for all of you. But um, it's really hard for me to express it where y'all can hear me say it. But just know that I am extremely grateful for each and every one of you being here and clicking on my videos, watching them, leaving comments, hitting that like button, doing the things. Um, I just, I thank you guys so, so, so much for that. Um, I just want to make sure that I say that more often. So um, thanks again. I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.